What's up everyone, Joey here. So AMD just released 22.10.3 and frustratingly they have not listed hardware acceleration being broken in all Chromium browsers on RX 6000 series because yeah, they don't, the only mention they've got is with Firefox and a 6900 XT. I'm on a 6700 XT. Lots of other AMD users are saying they're still getting flickering and black screens and all that kind of thing. And I like have ver I've, I've run DDU, I've got my chipset drivers up to date, I'm on Windows 11, 2.1 H2, and honestly, I rarely ever get serious issues unless it is a widespread problem. Like, I'm able to troubleshoot the majority of things, and I was even able, even able to troubleshoot this problem and fix it on my own system, but the fact that it, it's not listed in the uh, known issues as a targeted fix uh, is kind of frustrating, and I want AMD to get wind of this and work on it and fix it, at least put it in the known issues because it is widespread. There's people commenting on it all over Reddit. And basically the issue is with hardware acceleration and the default backend for Chromium browsers. So I, I was able to reproduce this problem in Brave, Edge, Chrome, Opera, and VLC Media Player and Hunt Showdown to some extent, although I cannot prove the Hunt Showdown one because I haven't got enough. Um, well, basically we need more users that, to test this in Hunt Showdown. But the problem is with D3D11, which is the default backend in these browsers, and you can get into the browser experimental settings or flags by typing the browser name and then colon forward, double forward slash flags. So you could put Chrome, you know, if, it, if you're in Chrome browser or Chromium, and then flags, and I think Brave will automatically convert it anyway. Um, and in here, search angle, and you can change the backend. And changing the backend to D3D9 fixes it. But the actual symptom, if you, like, especially for AMD watching this, is go to like this website. I'll link it down in the comments below. It's just a random website with lots of video players on it. Um, and this is just, you know, within a Chromium type browser. And it'll, it, the same thing happens in all these other browsers. And play one of the videos um, with an RX 6700 XT installed. And when you play the video uh, without real live recording though, um, you'll see the UI flickering all over the place. And even the whole browser may periodically flicker. And when I tried to figure out what it, is going wrong with this D3D11 backend, I was able to find in Task Manager Performance under the GPU tab, you can actually set the video codec utilization to see what it's doing. And I was able to find that with the default backend on these browsers, which, you know, the D3D11, the utilization is getting stuck at four to 8%, like under 10%. And it doesn't wake up unless you, in eight, enable like hardware encoding or something. So if I run Relive while, while the flickering is happening, the flickering goes away and the utilization jumps up to about 35%. But there's bugs. There's just got to be some bad bug because even if I play a video now, if I switch to the DX11 backend, which I'll do, I'll go back to default. Uh, Relive is stabilizing my system, so it's not going to crash or anything or, or black screen on me because I'm running Relive, but you can still see the weird behavior is this is on the D3D11 backend, and if I go to play a video, look at the video codec, it drops to 36% utilization. And I'm pretty sure it's not meant to do that. Uh, and if I'm not reliving, it'll be down at 10% flickering all over the place. Okay, so this is like a live demonstration that there's something weird going on with the, the default backend. And I hope AMD can just test this um, and figure it out for themselves what's going wrong and fix it. But for now, I'm going to give you guys the actual fix that works, and that is just to change the backend to so search angle and it'll come up in under the flag section and change that to d3d9 and then relaunch the browser and you'll see the normal behavior come back like with real live encoding it's around 65 percent utilization and when i play a video it doesn't do the weird behavior anymore like it's uh, 63 percent whatever it's not dropping down to 35 percent anymore with d3d9 so and if i wasn't recording with real live it actually goes up even higher it goes up into close to 100% um, on the video codec utilization. And it's smooth for all these browsers, like you can fix it with all of them. And as well for VLC, the same fix works because um, VLC uses hardware acceleration and by default, it's also, I think, using um, D3D11. And to fix that, you go into tools, preferences, show all settings, scroll down and output modules under video. And you'll see the default, it's like on automatic, which I assume is D3D11 and change it to D3D9, and that will also fix uh, flickering and stutter. It basically, frame skips is, tends to be what happens the most, but it can also cause a flickering OSD, like the freaking UI. And um, yeah, it fixes 4K video playback specifically. That's what I had an issue with um, with 
DLC. So I had actually all the videos playing fine, but 4K especially was having this weird like random frame skips and you had to look really closely to notice it, but it was ruining the video quality. And yeah, so same fix works there. And then I'm going to show you something I can't fix. This is where I'm hoping uh, AMD can also just have a quick look at this is in Hunt Showdown, I believe their UI also uses Chromium. And I can't even open it with um, Task Manager, but I think it's blocking it. Um, and Hunt Showdown uses, uh, yeah, Chromium, right? And see how it's got D3D11 in my OSD? I can't change that to D3D9 to fix the problem here. But watch this. If I just open a UI element, there's a stutter. And that something to do with it mess also mess it can also mess with uh, games when there's, like, notifications in the game. But if I just spam this button, I can literally force... I can bring the... the frame rate to a crawl. See that? So yeah, that's this is what I'm capped in the menu at 144. I could try capping it a bit lower to like 105. Doesn't make a difference. I tried setting it to 60 FPS just to see if it was like a console optimization thing. And same problem. So random stutters in Hunt could also be connected to this. Um, and as well for the Hunt players out there using, you know, Radeon RDNA 2 graphics cards, um, Originally, when they first added this option, it worked. At turning it up to 90% actually smoothed out performance, but now it's better to just leave it on default because the newer drivers are more sensitive to messing with the VRAM usage target. Basically, uh, if you read the description on the side, if the driver tries to manage the allocation, it can lead to stutters. And so I was on 90%, which was smooth in previous drivers, and now 90% stutters my game. Like, I get a lot more random stutters, and setting it back to 80% and restarting the game uh, the smoothness is a lot better. And I, did, I didn't bother trying 70%, but I know 80 is the default. So just heads up on that. And yeah, um, hopefully AMD can at least look into this at the very least. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next driver update. Bye.